Have you ever wondered how long stuff will stay frozen in your freezer if the power goes up? Well, we just got a new freezer and I wanted to find out, so I hooked up a temperature sensor to a little Raspberry Pi computer and did some experiments. And while I was at it, I also had a temperature sensor on the outside of the freezer and I measured its power consumption using one of these smart plugs. My first experiment was just to see how long an empty freezer would stay cold. So here I have a plot of a uh, very long run and this right here is where I unplugged it. So a more detailed view of that is here. You can see the compressor cycling on and off and let's say I unplugged it right about here. The thick divisions are one hour so after one, two, three and a half hours we're already crossing over into positive temperatures and this is starting from around minus 20. That seemed kind of crazy short, so next thing I did is put a whole bunch of food in the freezer, let it get down to temperature, and repeat the experiment. And going down on the spreadsheet, uh, here's the run with food in the freezer versus the run without food in the freezer up here. And you can see after one, two, three and a half hours, we're still at minus 14 degrees, having started around minus 20. And I left this run for about seven and a half hours and we got up to minus 11.4 degrees. I didn't want to run it to the melting point because I didn't want to damage the food. But using that data, I modeled how quickly the temperature would rise in the freezer. Essentially, for every hour, it lost about 2.6% of its coolness with respect to ambient. And so extrapolating further, it would hit the melting point at about 26 hours. Of course, some of the food would melt before that because not being pure water, it'll melt at somewhat below zero degrees. But I think it'd be safe to say that uh, we'd be good for about 18 hours. But this experiment was done with the freezer less than half full of food. I wanted to know how much coldness the freezer would lose each time I opened the door. So with an empty freezer, I did a test. And back on the spreadsheet, you can see here is where I opened the door and the temperature shot up to almost minus 10. And up here we have the compressor on, that's the power consumption, one tenth of it to be on the same scale. Uh, and here it's off and you can see the off period here is quite a bit shorter than it would be here or here. And then I repeated that again, opening the door briefly and the off period got shortened a fair bit. The rest of the cycle seemed very much the same. And tabulating the numbers, the first time I think I had the door open a bit longer, uh, the off time between compressor on times was 14 minutes less, the second time 9 minutes less. So basically I lost 14 minutes of cooling time essentially and 9 minutes the second time. But the thing with this upright freezer is when you open the door all the cold air can just fall straight through out the bottom. So I figured it would be a more realistic test to put some empty cardboard boxes in there. I didn't want to use food because I didn't want to have too much thermal mass so my test would be quicker. So unfortunately on my second time I opened the door while the compressor was running. You see the compressor is on here and this is when I opened the door both times versus opening the door while the compressor was off. Um, but the compressor runtime here is actually a fair bit longer in both of those spots. And that I had to do some numerical adjustments to compensate for that and adjust for the duty cycles. Basically, the compressor went from 19 minutes on typically to 24 minutes on on the one test and then on the second time I opened it, it was on for 23 minutes, previously been on for 18 and a half minutes. So that's an extra five and a half minutes or four and a half minutes of on time and adjusting for the duty cycle, that would be about seven minutes of reduced time between cycles in the first one and about 5.9 minutes the second time. But with food in the freezer, I did repeat the experiment, and as expected, the effect of opening the door was not as easy to analyze. Because the food adds so much thermal mass, I actually opened the door three times in the space of about five minutes, roughly two minutes apart each time. And you can see here the compressor run time was quite a bit longer from that. And then the next off time was shorter. And then next run time was about the same, and the next off time was still a bit shorter. So it took it on the order of about an hour to settle back to steady state from that. And doing some number crunching on the data, we have the on and off times, and I won't get into too much detail. You can download my spreadsheet if you'd like to. But uh, my calculation is that you lose about 6.8 minutes of freezer cold time 
every time you open the door with the freezer full. So that's actually pretty consistent of the numbers that I got with the cardboard boxes. So with some extrapolation, I'd say for a freezer this size in a room of about uh, 19 to 20 degrees Celsius, you got about 36 hours if it's full before your food starts to melt. And every time you open it for five seconds, subtract six minutes from that. 